Hello, my name is Sam Gardensham. I'm a product manager at Aviatrix Systems, and in this video, we're going to be showing you a demo of Aviatrix Firewall Network. So let's talk about what we will be building as part of this demo. The assumption is that the Aviatrix controller is already created, as well as the AWS Transit Gateway and the VPCs where the applications will be deployed into are already attached and created. We will then create a specific VPC that will house our firewalls and basically will be our firewall network VPC. We will create a security domain dedicated for our firewall network and then we will go ahead and deploy Aviatrix gateways. After Aviatrix gateways are deployed and fully operational, we will deploy the firewalls and attach them to the gateways. Let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and create the VPC where our firewalls will be launched in. We're going to call this a FireNet VPC. The first thing is to specify a name, region, as well as the VPC CIDR. And then we want to make sure that we select the VPC to be an Aviatrix FireNet VPC. Okay, as we can see, the VPC is created. Now let's go to Firewall Network Workflow and see where we are at. Okay, so we see that step number one is completed. Uh, step number two is asking us to subscribe to VM series in the marketplace. We've already done that, so we'll move to step number three, which is creating a firewall security domain for our FireNet, basically. That's the route table where the firewall network will be attached to. So let's go to the Transit Gateway Orchestrator and complete that step. Okay, under Transit Gateway Orchestrator, we go to Segment Your Network, and step number two, create a security domain. We have to make sure that we pick the right transit gateway that we're working with, and then we'll choose the security domain name. We'll make sure that we check firewall domain, because this is our FireNet domain, and then we'll go ahead and uh, create the domain. Okay, let's go ahead and launch a gateway. What we need to do is make sure we choose the right account. We make sure that we pick the right VPC, right region. So I've got the region configured there properly. Now we're going to go ahead and pick the right VPC. The gateway instance size for firewall network should be C5x large minimum. So we'll go ahead and choose that. Subnet is very important. You want to make sure that you launch the gateway in the right subnet and typically you want to launch it in one AZ and then enable HA in a different AZ. So your first and second gateway end up being in two different availability zones. Okay, so we selected that. We're going to also specify the name. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and click OK. Okay, so now we're going to have to go ahead and enable HA. In this step we'll pick the gateway and also pick a public subnet in a different availability zone, then enable HA. All right, so we have the uh, gateways deployed. Now we've got to go back to the firewall network workflow. Step number five calls for enabling the gateway for FireNet function. So we will choose the gateway and click enable. It'll take a minute, so we'll just cut through that. All right, so we're back. That step is done. Let's go ahead and uh, complete step number six as well, which basically is selecting the firewall network VPC and uh, selecting the domain and attaching it. Okay, the next step will be to launch a firewall. So step 7a, we have to first choose the gateway. So we will choose the first gateway here. We could choose either of them. We could have any number of firewalls attached to either of the gateways. Uh, for the demonstration of this step, we're just going to go ahead and choose the main gateway. And then we're also going to choose the firewall instance name. The important part is to make sure we have the correct image selected, depending on the license that we have subscribed to. And also making sure the management interface and egress interfaces are correctly chosen. And specifically, we need to make sure that they're in the correct availability zone in respect to the gateway that we selected. As for key pair, we can either choose one that already exists in the account or let the controller create one. So we're just gonna go ahead and use the one that I already have in the account. This step is gonna take a minute or two. So we're gonna just uh, go ahead and skip through the wait uh, period and then come back and also repeat the step for the second firewall of our demonstration. Okay, let's go ahead and launch the second firewall. We wanna make sure we give it a different name. This time, we're going to choose the HA gateway. 
and also we need to make sure the management interface and the egress interfaces are both in the second availability zone but in the same availability zone effectively as the HA gateway that we just chose. Okay, as we can see here, both of my firewalls are deployed. If I go to the advanced section, under the corresponding FireNet domain, I can see that there are two firewalls. Let's click for more details. We can see more details about this deployment. For example, we could see status of the gateways, the status of the firewalls, and here, vendor is shown as unknown because we haven't uh, completed the advanced vendor integration yet. So we also see other route table information here, mostly useful for troubleshooting. Now let's go ahead and do the vendor integration for the first firewall. So what I have here is uh, I'll have to first choose the appropriate VPC and then the appropriate uh, firewall. Here we're going to choose the vendor type as Palo Alto Networks and the firewall name uh, will be basically pulled from the name that we had given the firewall. The uh, login information here is going to be what you have specified for the API login to the firewall. I'm just going to go ahead and use the default admin with the custom password that I've set for it. Okay, we copy paste the uh, IP information. We could leave the route table empty. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, it uh, successfully completed. Let's go ahead and, and take a look at the uh, show of this particular firewall. Okay, we see the routes are propagated to the firewall. We see the status of two interfaces and what they're connected to. This concludes our demo of Aviatrix Firewall Network. Hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.